No. Do I have to explain? Yeah. Um, no, because everybody's got, like, everybody's different, and that makes everyone equal, I guess. So, it doesn't, it shouldn't change, because that's who somebody is. Mm -hmm. Not so much, like I guess in some cases he will be judged, but I'm not really the kind of person to be judging. Well, I wouldn't say necessarily, but I like to be healthy, like not you know, anorexic, but I don't want to be overweight. It's not about everyone else, it's more for my personal place. I don't know, I think like the media makes it more important to a lot of people. I guess, yeah, you can change. I don't really care what people how you think of people. With their body image, I guess. No, there's no such thing as a perfect body. Because, um, I mean, you can't, if you're too skinny, then. Yeah, okay. If there's no such thing as a perfect body. Okay. Um, I guess we're like kind of like made to think that like celebrities are perfect. Mm, truthfully, probably not. Everyone in their own way does, but according to like, the image that the Hollywood and media puts out, no one has a perfect body because it's all size two, but everyone is their own size and everyone has their own body that's perfect in its own way. Why do people fear it? Yeah. Um, they might be afraid of getting judged if they gain too much weight. Uh, because we made this idea that being skinny is the only way you can be pretty. Because people might make fun of them. Just eat them all the time. Because they might have known someone that has gained weight and suffered from it. Um, they don't want to be seen as that one fat person or that one big guy, big girl. They want to be, oh, she's pretty because she's fit or, oh, she's ripped. People don't want to gain weight because they want to have that social status of being fit. There is, if you think. I don't really. Maybe. I don't know. I don't. To me, there's no such thing as a perfect weight. But I mean, that's just my opinion. That could be completely different. Than I don't know. Depending on you know height, it would be. Oh yeah. Anywhere between 100 and 150 pounds, probably. Girls, it completely just depends on the height. Um, I, I am about 5'10", and I'm between 155 and 160, and that is a healthy weight for me. Um, I think guys are guys. I mean, they might have problems with their bodies, but they don't really show it. What I've noticed is they really aren't. I think their biggest insecurity is being able to be open with them. <laughs> um, yes. What could be their biggest insecurity? Uh, anything from, you know, paunch to muscle mass. Like, especially some of the guys out here, they're like, and they can't even touch their shoulders, and they're working out every day. Oh. When you're too skinny and you can see your bones. So I think you to the extreme, cutting out food category. To me, a healthy diet is eating the proper food group, the proper amount of calories and carbs in a day, but not taking to extremes of having to cut calories, cut carbs. If you're doing enough physical activity to match what you're putting into your body, you're eating healthy. Uh, when you're not having food, like when you're not eating, with crazy people who eat like pregnancy hormones, that's a little weird. Them. McDonald's. <laughs> just, you, that's all you think about it. Yeah, no, like, I mean, I know that I'm the skinniest person, so it's kind of like, oh, okay, I'm not alone kind of thing, you know? I usually try not to judge because I, I, I have met quite a few people that are, and they generally tend to be really nice people, and there's no reason to judge them based on what they look like. I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, society, we don't have the healthiest facts in places, but it's also theirs because they didn't take responsibility. Um, in part, but I wouldn't say it's fully because it's genes, right? And also, like, I don't know, but mostly, probably be fixed by just, you know, eating well and exercising and stuff. Society and media puts a lot of pressure on people, and when they can't do anything about it, they usually like, keep their feelings away. I guess because. I mean, they're so used to it, maybe, because they put on so much extra pounds and it's going to be harder to take it off, so they're just kind of used to it. 
but it just depends. Once you hit a certain point, I think that people hit a wall and they lose all their drive to lose the weight and try to put so much pressure on them and just want to give up so they keep eating. It's hard for anyone to change anything. Like, it's not even just diet habits. It's difficult. hard time changing their hair color. So <laughs> I like about this in psychology. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Um, anorexia, I think, is skinniness. So yes. bulimia is where you like make yourself throw back the week. Is that right? Yeah, basically. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Anorexia is my You can if you want. Um, bulimia is a you where you're throwing up everything after you eat it, forcing yourself to eat the food that you're putting into your body so you're not gaining the nutrients. Anorexia is an eating disorder also, but it, you can't physically eat the food. And if you do, you get sick because your body can't take the food so you're starving yourself. Either on purpose, or it's just what your body is doing because you've been dieting so severely. Bullying, I guess, or I'd say society, just in life, you know? Skinny people, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, insecurities, uh, possibly, yeah, probably just insecurities. Just people telling them they're not good enough or they're not skinny enough, whatever. Um, do something to your organs. It will tear the body down and destroy it. Um, when you see a picture like this, so show me the picture. So when you see a picture like that, um, what, like that, do you think it's a positive impact on teenage girls? Why or why not? Um, no, no, maybe, I don't know. I mean, she's not, like, she's not to the point where you can, like, see her bones. Like, she looks kind of healthy skinny. It's all, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's a positive impact. She's like half naked. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say so. In a way, it could be. It looks like she's comfortable with her body and it's self empowering. She's some women that might. Teenagers that might feel like they're fit to other girls, they might be like, oh, well, I need to be like that, and the pressure on them, it makes them possibly turn to be really hyper anorexic, finding some sort of severe way to lose the weight. Okay, so now turn the pictures around to me again. What do you think when you see this picture of Nicole Richie's, this one right there? Um, skinny person with. Very, yeah, skinny person that has no shoes on. So, yeah, with bones sticking out in their chest. Do you think it's really gross? Yeah. You don't aspire to be that skinny? No. Not at all. Some people can't gain weight on that skinny, but it, it makes me happy to be the way that I am. I, I enjoy what I look like. like. There's things that everyone wants to change about themselves for sure, but I'm glad that I'm healthy enough to not have to turn to anything like that. To know that I'm pretty. Because I mean, if this isn't healthy, and like if you gain a couple pounds, I mean, it's not the end of the world, right? I would not have even guessed that she's a plus size weight. She looks almost as skinny as the other girl with just less muscle definition on her stomach. I think that she's at a perfect weight for her body and that she's absolutely gorgeous. Like, plus size is just another size. Like, small, medium, large. Those are just labels. I'm not just anybody. I seen them stand in line. Just to get beside her, I let her see the ass then, and let the rest surprise her. That's when we disappear, you need GPS to find her. Oh, that was your girl, I thought I recognized okay. her. Ooh, baby, I be stuck to you like glue, baby. Wanna spend it all on you, baby. My room is the G-spot, call me Mr. Flintstone. I can make your bed by.